हाई एवरी वन दिस इज शिवानी हेयर वेलकम टू माई चैनल शिवानी क्रिएशंस टूडे आई एम शोइंग यू समथिंग न्यू येस आई एम शोइंग यू हाउ टू क्रिएट दीज ब्यूटिफुल रेजन की चेन्स विद श्रिंक प्रिंक फ्लावर डेकोरेशन एंड आई हैव क्रिएटेड डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टेक्निक रेजन की चेन्स विद ब्यूटिफुल कलर्स ऑफ फ्लावर्स एंड यू विल गो ना एन्जॉय दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई एम श्योर सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट इट सो there are some things which you must need to arrange before start with the resin work and i'm showing you one by one so first you need to arrange the gloves these are very important than any mold on which you are working today i'm making keychain so i'm taking alphabet molds then you need some sticks any wooden sticks or ice cream sticks will work then we need some paper cups of small size and the mask is also compulsory to work with resin then here i am using the art epoxy resin by little birdie so before start with the resin you must cover your surface with any plastic sheet or plastic bag or plastic polythene and then i am taking here hardener first so you need to pour the hardener and the ratio of this resin is 1 raised to 2 that is 1 point for hardener and 2 points for resin so here i am taking my plastic teaspoon and just pouring 1 teaspoon of hardener since i am making keychain so we need very less resin but if you are making coasters or the big projects so according to that you have to take the resin and hardener Now I'm taking the clear resin and we need to pour 2 teaspoons of the clear resin. The workspace where you are making the resin projects should be ventilated and don't switch on the fan because any air particle or dust might affect your resin work. so just keep your windows open and keep your place quite ventilated now we need to mix this mixture very well for approximately 2 to 3 minutes in one direction and do it very slowly so that the bubble will not get developed and though this resin is a uh, automatically bubble removable so you don't need to worry for that just stir it very well in one direction for few minutes so i have mixed it very well and kept it for 15 minutes to set for some time and now it's little hot so it's time to mix some colors so here i am using the resin pigment by little birdie in white color and before mixing the color i am just dividing my resin in two parts so i am just pouring half portion of resin in another cup and remember your cups should be very clean before pouring the resin and now i am mixing few drops of white opaque resin pigment into this and just mixing it with wooden stick If required you can add few more drops to make it completely opaque. So now my mixture is looking quite milky and I'm happy with the results. So if you want to create white keychains you can directly pour this. But since I want to create little lemon yellow shade so I'm going to add little bit of quantity of yellow resin pigment so i am just taking this yellow pigment by little birdie again and adding 
a small touch of yellow into this and now mix it very well till you will get your desired color so this is done now on the another part of resin i am going to mix some gold flakes so these flakes are also from the little birdie and just mix these cute golden flakes with the resin very well you can also mix golden glitter powder in place of flakes and now i'm taking my alphabet mold and remember one thing your surface should be completely flat before pouring the resin so that it will spread evenly on all the mold now on the half portion of the a alphabet i am pouring my flake resin and on another half portion i am going to pour the yellow resin just point one corner of your cup to make a beak kind of shape so that it will be easier for you to pour the resin now slowly slowly i am pouring the flaked resin and the yellow resin one by one till we reach the edge of the mold don't over fill it otherwise it will get overflowed So this is done. Now I am starting with S alphabet. So first I am pouring little bit of flaked resin in the base. and then i am taking these cute mixture of some candies this is a sequence mixture by dress my craft and i am just adding some different different desserts or candies and filling the surface on top of the clear resin like this and then i'm pouring my colored resin here i have mixed little bit of blue with my yellow resin to create the light green this is beautiful grass green color and i'm just filling the s mold completely till the top now just with the help of stick fill the edges completely and this is done now in the third way i have just taken some clear resin again i have mixed resin and hardener and now i am adding few drops of dark blue color alcohol ink and mixing it with the resin yes you can use alcohol inks as well to create colored resin and also you can use acrylic colors but acrylic colors will take little time to mix with resin because these are uh, not very friendly with the resin but if you are a beginner and you don't want to invest in pigments and alcohol inks so you can just mix your acrylic colors for some trials and here i have mixed some blue color glitter powder with the resin to give little more sparkly look just mix everything very well and now i am going to pour alphabet v with this glitter blue resin
so this is done now allow it to dry completely for at least 48 hours because this is a rainy season and the atmosphere is very moist so it will take little time to cure don't fidget with this cover it completely just put four glass in four corners and cover it with some tray or paper and allow it to dry completely till it is drying i am just showing you how to create shrink print cute filler flower for our keychain so here i have already cut my yellow color shrink print paper which is a colorful paper so we don't need to color it using six petal dye you can also hand cut any flower shape and to hold this from center i'm using this heat resistant tweezer and my heat tool so you just need to work on shiny side so the shrink print has a opaque side and shiny side so you have to work on shiny side and i have already punched in the center using 2 mm hole punch so that we can pass any wire through this and we need to hold this on the punch area using our tweezer and now start heating it using heat tool from all the directions and it is shrunk so i'm just pinching it in the center using my ball tool and just shaping it little bit if you want to learn in detail the shrink print flowers i have given link in description box you can check there and see the cute flower is ready now i am showing you how to create hanging using this flower so i have already prepared one hanging and this is very easy to make for this i am taking my gold color t pen just insert one pearl through this insert your flower then adding one cute flower cap cut the excess wire from top and twist it using plier and the hanging is ready very easy now i'm showing the pearl hanging so i'm taking again one pearl adding one t pin through this cut the excess wire and twist it using plier and your pearl hanging is also ready now i'm taking back my mold and i have cured it for 48 hours and now it's time to remove it from the mold so you can feel it by touching that it is hard or not so it's completely cured and completely hard so i'm just removing it from the mold very slowly don't do this in hush hush be patient and do it very nicely and see how beautiful the alphabet is cured and it is completely dried it is completely washable and it's quite hard so our alphabet a is ready now i'm just removing the alphabet s as well and see how cute candies are looking from outside super pretty now I'm just removing the V and this is quite moist so I'm not removing it I will allow it to dry for a few more hours till that time I'm just removing the edge edge is also created using yellow color I have just mixed some white with this and the process is same so I like to dry for some time and then we will remove the V and P as well so our Keychain alphabets are ready. Now it's time to assemble everything. So here I have already prepared some shrink print flower hangings using pink color shrink print sheets. The process is same as we did with the yellow flower. Just I have changed the color because it is matching with my alphabet S. And also created some bead hanging using pearl white and purple beads. So we need total six shrink print flower hangings, two bead hangings and two pearl hangings. Now I am just start assembling it. So before that we need to attach the jump ring with our alphabet keychain. Since the depth of this mold is very 
high and our normal jump ring will not get inserted through this so i am taking here long t pin in silver color and just twisting it using my pen and then insert through your alphabet twist from both the sides using plier and here is your handmade customized jump ring yes you can create your jump ring like this if you don't have big size jump rings i'm just cutting the t pin portion using cutter and just fix it very well with plier and this is done now it's ready to hang our keychain with this so i'm taking the small size silver jump rings and i will start adding some flowers beads and adding these with the chain one by one i am inserting two two flowers and two two beads in each chain till the top and our beautiful s keychain is ready so in the same way i have added different different colors of shrink prints with the different keychains here i have created c and g as well before so this is just a simple glitter golden glitter with resin and i have added some hearts and flower pearls with this and this is a glitter g alphabet on which i have mixed pink color acrylic shade and the v i have created with acrylic and gold flakes just like we did for the a alphabet on back side i have added some lines using pink permanent marker so in this way you can create your own alphabet keychains with different different methods just try and test and do some experiments and you will gonna enjoy this very much i'm sure so according to your choice you can create your own combinations i have took here some contrast combinations of shrink print flowers and resin colors so that's it for today hope you enjoyed my video please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos and please click on bell icon for the latest updates thanks for watching see you next time bye bye <music>